Hello everybody, today we're going to look at the first half of a thread up shoe haul. The other half's upstairs getting cleaned up, so let's get right into this first half. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and together with my wife Angelique, we run a closet on Poshmark. Um, so today, we have a big pile of shoes to get through. Um, but before I get started, I want to apologize for the sparsity of the videos lately. Uh, I had some technical difficulties with a couple videos I recorded, and then I had some technical difficulties with, uh, with my computer, so I couldn't upload anything last week, but all that should be sorted out. So let's just look at these shoes. Alright, up first... We have a pair of boots. They are J U J B U, um, and let's see if I can find the size. They are size 10 M, um, and it says they're vegan upper with fox with uh, fake fur uh, textile lining and balance with man-made materials. So, look at them. They are pretty warm looking pair of boots. Um, they're a size 10 M. Um, hmm. Let's see. They're, yeah, they, uh, I think they're, I believe these are men's and they, they look pretty nice. So if um, they don't go, which they probably won't go until winter, but maybe they'll go off a pair of boots. All right, up next we have a pair of. Um, next we have another pair of boots. These are Sam Edelton Edelman. Um, they do have. And they do have the address. I assume that's the address of the company or the original per the original where the company was originally located. I don't know. I can I could say I'll look that up, but I probably will not. Anyway, I do not see the Yeah, I don't see a size anywhere. Yeah, I don't see a size anywhere on these, so we'll just have a we'll just have a look at these and we'll move on. Okay, I would mention how many shoes are in this and how much this thread up box cost, but as is my as is my usual, I left the uh, I left the um, invoice somewhere and um, I can't find it so I'll make sure to put it in the second half of the video it's probably actually upstairs with my wife who's currently cleaning the other half this half has not been cleaned yet we just kinda went through it and shot um, she shot most of these and then I shot the other half of them anyway up next we have a pair of Pumbas um, let's see these are soft foam soles on the inside. Uh, I can almost make out the size. They are size six and a half. Oh, pair of size six and a half Pumas. They actually are in pretty good condition, so I think those will do nice. And being that summer's coming up, nice pair of nice pair of sneakers is gonna do good. Okay, up next we have probably the most eye-catching thing in the pile. Um, these are a pair of Steve Madden's. Um, a pair of Steve Madden sneakers um, with the glittery star on the side. I did not know these were Steve Madden's. Um, so that is a really good, that is a really, really good find. Um, 
or find. That's a really, really good get from this thread up box. Now I am noticing some damage on the bottom. Um, it looks like in the same place on both shoes they had something stuck through them. So I don't know if that's... Well, I don't know. I mean it looks maybe like it was intentional, but then maybe tried to drill it out more. Oh, that's kind of weird. And they also have staples in the bottom um, from where they put a tag. So those are going to leave a little holes, but none of that damage should be enough to dissuade too much from these shoes because the tops are in excellent condition. It's just a little bit of damage on the bottom. Other than that, they're nice. Um, like not really even a whole lot of wear on the bottom either. So definitely very good. And I don't... Yeah, I don't see a size or material anywhere, um, so we will have to measure them before we um, we'll have to measure them before we list them. But um, yeah, like I said, definitely the most eye-catching shoes um, in my pile over here. All right, up next we have oh, up next we have a pair of something, a pair of. Relic? Oh, Zara. There, that's just the name of the shoe. Uh, the name of the zoo, name of the shoe. Uh, the brand is Zara. As you can see right there. I don't know if that showed up on the camera or not. Um, and this is a little. This is a little strange. They. I think this means that they are 39s because they have 36, 37, 38. 39 is slightly bigger and with a line on top of the bottom than 40, 41. So I guess that's maybe like they're trying to say, hey, these these are 39s and 39 comes between 38 and 40. Um, maybe maybe they're uh, uh, maybe they're trying to go for the crowd that can't count. But why that would work, I don't know. Anyway, other than that, a very nice looking shoe. No, um, a little bit of a, a little bit of scuffing on the back, um, and right there, but um, not a lot of wear on them, and the tops look like they're in pretty good condition. Um, so those should be doing good. You know, I've noticed we've been shooting. A lot of Zara's lately with them um, are just with the thread up boxes we've been getting, just maybe the reseller boxes. I can't remember where we get all the stuff from, but we've been getting a lot of Zara lately. So, and I think some of it's been selling. So definitely, um, definitely happy to get more Zara. Um, first pair of Zara shoes I've seen though. All right, up next we have a band bandolino beef. Be flexible. Pendillo, be flexible. Um, I don't know if that's a o or a D. No, it's a O. Eh. Anyway, they are a pair of pumps. I believe that's. I believe those are called pumps. Um, open toed. Um, just a regular heel. So that doesn't quite look long enough to be a stiletto. Um, looks like just a regular heel. I'm sure there's a term for it. My wife did um, did say she was going to get me a chart to have all the different shoe terminology on it, but haven't got it yet. Anyway, they're in really good condition. Um, I don't see any. I don't see any any little chips or flakes or anything. I also don't see the size. Or materials on the inside, so maybe there. Are, no, I thought maybe the um, the soles came out, or not the sole, the inner lining came out, and maybe it would be below that. But no, that's that's in there. So yeah, another thing we're gonna have to measure. Um, oh wait, <laughs> there they are. They are a size eight. And man-made upper, man-made lining, and balanced man-made materials for the um, soles. So, and they're also made in China. All right, that's one, two, 
three, four, five. Wait, is that five? That's six pairs. Six pairs. I think there was twenty-five in this sum. Um, in this box, but I'm not sure. So we'll just keep going through them. Uh, we're about halfway through the pile, so this video is going to be a little bit longer. Um, up next, we have a pair of mystery shoes. I do not see a name on them. Um, oh. I do not. Huh. Yeah. No. No name, although it looks like the, um, it looks like that, um, lining is, uh, it looks like that's not the original lining, so maybe that'll, maybe that peel, no, I don't think that peels off, and, yeah, so, these are going to have to be identified if we list them, if we can't identify them, we'll just re-donate them, which would be a shame, because once again, these are in pretty good condition. Um, just a little bit of um, wear on the around the toe of the soles, but um, the heels are in great condition. Um, the little ends on the heels, which I'm sure have the name, is in good condition. There's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of wear on the top, and based on the bottom, I believe that that symbol right there means that it's partially leather so if I had to guess I would say the tops are probably leather um, is there a label on the buckle nope yeah so um we'll have to identify them and we'll have to measure them because there's nothing got no information on these shoes all right moving right along what do we have next we have a pair of Franco Sartos. So Sartos. Franco Sartos. Yep, that's how I'll pronounce it. Um, and these are another pair of heels. Um, a lot of heels in this box. I think the other half did not have as many heels, but I could be remembering that wrong. So don't fact check me when I get around to recording the second half of the box. Um, these are leather upper, so this top part, real leather. Um, Man-made balanced materials on the bottom, which isn't really surprising. Um, it looks like some kind of a, a little bit of a little bit of rubber, a little bit of uh, um, fake leather, faux leather. Um, these are size 8M, so we do not have to measure these because I actually have the size. But there they are, um, open toe. <laughs> okay, looks like we got one, two, three, four more pairs to go. Yeah, so I think this was a 25 box because that four more pairs will put us about at, mm, I lost count, it should put us around like 13, 14 pairs that we've looked at, so that'd be just about half of them. Okay, up next we have a London Fog, um, and these are another pair of heels. Um, those are those look like the standard heel length. Um, they're a little bit too long to be a kitten heel, uh, too short to be a stiletto. So I'm just going to call them standard heels. Um, I don't. Oh, there it is. These are a size 8M um, fabric upper. Fabric and man-made on sole fabric, yeah. So, fabric and man-made, which isn't surprising. This does not feel like leather at all. This has a little bit of a, um, it's a little bit of a felt feel to it. So, definitely some, definitely is uh, fabric. Um, and these, they have kind of the fake, fake buckle. This isn't actually buckle in. That's permanently attached right there. And they have the zipper on the side. Um, those zippers, yep, the zipper's not stuck, but the zipper also has the LF on it for London Fog. If that, I don't think that's going to, oh, there we go. Yep, that kind of focused. Um, yeah, so those are a nice looking pair of shoes. I know the, um, 
the zipper, the the little short shorter heels that zip up on the side. Um, I know my mom, my sister, and my wife all absolutely fell in love with those um, two years ago for Christmas, and they just um, yeah, they just each got each separately got different pairs of zip up shoes. All right. Up next, we have a pair of gray, um, and they're, in fact, black. They're black um, sandal heels. Um, so I believe that's the proper turn. I really need to get that chart. Um, but anyway, they, they, do, they do have the real buckle. So they, um, I believe that makes them a sling. Maybe. <laughs> um, oh, they're Saks Fifth Avenue gray. Um, I don't know if that's, I don't know which is the brand and what maybe one's brand, sub brand. I don't know brands. Um, now, I don't see, I don't see a size or materials on these. Um, so I'd have to. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe leather, um, although I don't see that typical leather symbol on the bottom anywhere, but that could just be worn off. Um, so we'll have to look those up before we list them to see what the proper materials are, but they look nice. Okay, oh, that's a, there's a bonus pair of shoes down here. Uh, these are more Zara's, um, and I believe this is, in fact, a stiletto heel, and these are looking stiletto heel, pointed toe. Um, I believe the strap makes it a sling, although I don't know if because the strap goes around one way or another that changes what it is, but really nice pair of pointed toe stiletto Zara's. Um, these are a size... 38 as I can see at the bottom um, so I don't oh they do have the materials in there I don't know that I'll be able to actually read that though so, I might need to get a mirror or something I can see where they're written but I can't quite Yeah, I can't quite make it out. You can see that it does say the size is 38. Uh, maybe we can have better luck on the other one. Let's see here. No, that's just the size and that they're made in China. So, no materials on these, but size 38s and in really good condition. You know, a lot of the a lot of the shoes in this box have been in really good condition. I don't know about the brands or anything, but um, just the condition is really, really, it's really satisfying. Yeah, that's the word I'll use. Um, okay, so these next are a pair of. Um, let's see, what does that say? Looks like a maybe a. I'll do. Can't quite tell what that first letter is. Let me check the other. Yep, A L D O. I'll do, and they do have the leather symbol. So at least part of these are leather. If I had to guess, I would say it's the tops. And these are a nice pair of heeled boots. Um, I don't. No size. No size anywhere. No size or materials. Oh, yep, it does say genuine leather. So, nice pair of leather boots. No size, so we will have to measure them. Um, and it feels like, feels like it's a nice rubber sole, so you won't slip in them. I don't know that brand. 
So there's really not much I can say about them. But the fact that they're genuine leather is exciting. Now for the last, um, the last piece in here are a pair of rain boots that are Poppy Coach. There's Poppy Coach on the side. Maybe they're Coach. They say Coach on the bottom. They say Coach on the side. They're established in 1941, at least if the side is to be believed. Uh, they just say Coach at the bottom. So maybe these are Coach. Um, well, they do have the they do have the size and material on the on the inside, but it's worn off to the point where I cannot read it on both of the boots. So I am not going to be able to tell anything about these. Um, other than they're maybe coach, maybe they're poppy coach. Um, I don't know. They look like they'll definitely keep your feet dry in the rain. So, <laughs> yeah, they're just an interesting, interesting piece. Okay, and let me just get one real quick smile for the camera. There we go. And that can be the thumbnail because my wife does not like the stupid faces I make when I just take regular thumbnail pictures. I don't really just pull something from the video. Anyway, that has been maybe 14, maybe 15. I don't know. I lost count. Um, shoes from a thread up shoe box. Um, I'll have all the information about the thread up box in the next video along with the rest of the shoes. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you like watching me stumble through these, feel free to like, share, subscribe. All that stuff's below. You know how to use YouTube. I say it all the time. Until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you later. stayed after the credits that's um maybe something to do you left this video running if you actually are still here hit these uh hit this up here um i don't know if it's going to go to a playlist or the next video because youtube kind of changed the way their uh youtube studio works and i'm not entirely certain that i can put a playlist up there anymore all right bye